Party games are a great time because they're easy for anyone to pick up and play. Even the most inexperienced player can emerge victorious in a party game, which is why they are always a fan favorite when you have a couple of buddies over. Road Rash 64, the violent game it is, is definitely not the first game that comes to mind when you're thinking of a party game. It's a racing combat hybrid where you race against other people on motorcycles and you have a variety of weapons and try to knock your opponent off. On the surface, that sounds a lot more intense and hardcore than a party game, but trust me, Road Rash 64 is a party game. If you don't have friends over, the one player campaign mode is still a great time. Just make sure you have a memory card, because Road Rash requires one if you want to save your progress. It seems they want me to join the Thrashers? Oh no sir, we prefer to do things our own way. In Road Rash, there are plenty of hazards beyond just your opponents, which is included but not limited to cars, signs, buildings, and even cows. Buddy. If you fall off your bike, and you will fall off your bike, no worries at all, you just respawn right in the middle of the race, and the further you are from the pack, the higher your top speed is. So that levels the playing field tremendously, and that's the main reason why I refer to Road Rash as a party game. It's kind of similar to Mario Kart where everyone's in the game, it's just that instead of blue shells, you're whacking people over the head with spiked bats and tasers. In the main campaign, you earn money pending what place you finish in your races, and you use that to progress the new tracks and the ability to purchase new bikes that are imperative if you want to keep up with your competition. You also have to worry about the cops, but like in any respectful Nintendo game, Road Rash encourages you to not only run away from the police, but hit them off their bikes. If a cop manages to hit you off your bike, you're going away for a long time. Well, at least the race ends and then you have to restart. There's a lot of fun features in this game, like the ability to do a wheelie. On the surface, wheelies seem like just a little novelty in the game, but it actually gives you ability to do a wheelie off of a car and give you an extra boost. In a racing game, exploration is an afterthought. In Road Rash, exploration can lead to a lot of crashes, but occasionally it can reward you with weapons and even damage boosts, so it's important to keep a lookout for small little shortcuts hidden throughout your races. Road Rash has a wide variety of weapons. The long range weapons provide less damage, but they allow you to play a more defensive style as it's easier to not get hit, whereas in vice versa, the short range weapons provide more damage but with the expense of exposing yourself to getting attacked. Now let's talk about my favorite part about this game, and that's the soundtrack. Road Rash's soundtrack is different from many other N64 games because it has actual music, but it sacrificed the quality of it because those N64 cartridges can only hold so much space. This kind of punk rock music is definitely not my type of genre, but it's beyond fitting for this game. I'm not playing the music right now because I don't know how legal stuff works and I don't want YouTube to ban this video, but I'll just play a couple clips from the actual gameplay for you to hear what the music is and You'll understand what I'm talking about. The voices in this game are also hilarious. Anytime someone falls off their bike, I can't help but burst out of laughter. Uh! Is Road Rash 64 an all-time great on the N64? Definitely not. It's far from perfect, and it doesn't even make my top 10 N64 games. With that being said, that doesn't mean I don't put it in my N64 when I have a couple of friends over and we're done playing Super Smash or Mario Party. If you have an N64 and you're looking for a fun multiplayer game, Road Rash is perfect, whether you're a hardcore gamer or a casual gamer. Definitely pick this one up. As always, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if there are any similar games to Road Rash, because I can't really think of any, but I'm sure that there are other games out there, and if that's the case, I'd love to do a video of comparing the two, so feel free to reach out and let me know. Oh.